Hi everyone, so ever since Lavi 2019 came out I've been trying to introduce maps into my code and I've been using them really successfully with registering different actors with inside the actor framework so I wanted to make a quick video about how I use maps within AF. So I've created the framework for a quick demo here where essentially we have a calling actor and when we run this actor we can launch as many nested actors as we want those nested actors will get added to a list here if we could send an individual nested actor a message and all of that is going to be controlled by a central map register so let's get started the first thing we need to do is create a map inside our calling actors private data so let's go to the calling actor open that up then I'm going to right click go to data containers go to map and put that down but I'm going to call this map nested actors the data type for this map I'm going to have a string for the key and then queue as the value so by default the key is a string and for the end queue I'll just scroll down to the dependencies into actor framework Go to message and queue. I'm going to drag that onto the control front panel and I'll just rename this to be nested and queue. Because one thing I found is that once you click and drag into the map, you can't then rename your item. So I always rename it in then add to the map. I will save. Great, so now let's go to one of the methods to launch nested actor, which I have already created here. So here we're going to be launching a nested actor and the name of that nested actor is going to be nested actor invent an incremental counter that I've created here. Whenever we launch this actor, we need to add it to the array. So to insert into the array, we need to Unbundle the map from the actor private data. Go into collection, map, insert into map. The key is going to be the name of our actor. Invent the value can be the enqueuer. Right, and we need to rebundle this. So now every time we launch a nested actor, we're going to add that nested actors and queuer to the map. The next thing we need to do is just update the combo box on the actor cores front panel to list all of the nested actors. So I put a few of the building blocks we'll need to update that front panel control on the block diagram here. And we need to get that nested actors. So this is a map. We'll then need to convert that map into an array. And we can do that just by using a simple for loop. We'll then need to unbundle that to get the key and the value separated. We're just interested in the keys here. And for the combo box, we want the string and the value to remain constant. So I'm actually going to bundle the key to be both the string and the value for the combo box. Now this might seem like a bit of a a janky way of doing things. Unfortunately, it is the way to do things in LabVIEW as it stands, but I hope that more functions for maps will come out in the next release, maybe in SP1 or in 2020. Okay, so let's save this, and we should be able to now run part of our code. So, if we open up the Launcher VI, and in this Launcher VI, all I'm doing is launching the calling actor. Let's run that can launch new actor and there you go new actors are being launched here do we have a look at our nested actor drop down box here we have nested actor 0 1 2 0 1 2 we can add another and nested actor 3 has appeared let's close those so so the first bit of our code works we've been able to launch actors and have the map update. So that section of the code is working great. What we need to do now 
is look inside that map in order to send messages to the various enqueuers. So let's open up another message, send nested actor message. So just so we'd get an OK run arrow, I just put an enqueuer constant here. Obviously we don't want that anymore. So let's have a look inside our map and look for individual elements. So we'll go into our nested actors, go into collection, maps and look in map. Wire that up. The key is going to be the actor name and the value will come out and the value is going to be the enqueuer. We also have an additional output called key not found. So I'm going to use key not found as a way of error prevention. So if the key is not found then well I don't want to send a message. So if key not found I want nothing to happen so I'm going to make this case false. So key not found is true, then we do nothing else, we send a message. Excellent, so let's run this and launch a couple of actors. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we should see nested actor zero to four, like we do. And if we send nested actor zero a message, we see that message has appeared. Then if we send nested actor 1 a message, send nested actor 3 a message, there you go. So using a map we've been able to keep a record of all of our nested actors and being able to send them messages. But what happens if we stop a nested actor, if then we try and send a message? Well, if we select nested actor 1 and send message, you can see that an error must have occurred because everything's just shut down. So when an actor stops we need to remove that actor from our map. Let's go into calling actor, framework overrides, then we're going to be looking at handle last act call. In handle last act call we're going to need to look at the last act data and the data we want to get out is the enqueuer. So let's go down to data communication, actor framework, in then read caller to actor enqueuer. This is going to give us the enqueuer output. Now unfortunately for us, you can index a map by its key, but not by its value. So we're going to need to go through all of the values to find the correct one. To do that, we're going to put down a for loop to convert that map into an array. So we've got our map out here. That gets converted to an array. We're going to unbundle and we're going to look to see whether the object is equal to see whether the enqueuer we have inside of our map matches the enqueuer of the actor that has just stopped. So we'll need to turn this up a little bit. We're going to look for conditional terminal. Tunnel mode last value. So what this piece of code is doing is seeing if the enqueuer matches the enqueuer in the map. If so, we stop our for loop and we'll get a true out here. If we do not get a true out, it means that a different actor shut down, not one that we were interested in. Because of that condition, let's have a case structure in here. And inside this case structure, we're going to be having a look into this map. If then using the remove from map, function we're going to be reading out the key and then we're going to add that map back into our actor and bear with me I'll just need to mess up okay so we're not totally finished here remember we now need to update the actor cause front panel 
to remove that item from the combo box or that drop down menu box. But I made a sub VI for that so we can just drop in that sub VI. Add that in there. And then wire up our actor. Okay, awesome. Let's test our code. So if we launch new actor, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven actors there, so we should have zero to six. As we do, let's send nested actor three a message. Layer NA3, send a message. And that actor received the message. Let's send actor 5 a message. Hello 5. Send message. That actor received a message. Now let's stop nested actor 2 from getting a message. So if we remove this nested actor, then look at our drop down menu, have it 0, 1, 3, 4. So that nested actor was then removed from our map. In then our front panel was also updated so we can no longer send messages to the actor that has stopped. Then if we stop the calling actor, all of its nested actors will stop by default. Perfect, so that was just a really quick whistle stop tour about the type of scenario where I've started using maps in LAVI 2019 with the actor framework. If you have any comments, thoughts or feedback about this video or any of the other videos in the AF series, please let me know in the comments, give it a like, remember to subscribe, and as always, the source code for this example will be on my GitHub page, and there'll be a link in the description. Great, catch you later everyone.